हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार राजकृष्णा दिस साइन एंड लेट्स सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम डिफरेंशियल कैलकुलस दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम जेकोबियंस एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द चेन रूल इन जेकोबियन ओके सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन यू इज एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वाई स्क्वायर वी इज टू एक्स वाई एक्स इज आर कॉस थीटा एंड वाई इज आर साइन थीटा we have to find the jacobian of u comma v with respect to r and theta so as you can see u is a function of x and y similarly v is also a function of x and y x and y are function of r and theta so we can find the jacobian of u and v with respect to x and y and we can find the jacobian of x and y with respect to r and theta because they are directly two functions so i will i can say if you want to find this jacobian of i can find this by i can find jacobian of u comma v as they are function of x and y so i can find the jacobian with respect to x and y and then x and y because they are function of r and theta so i can find the jacobian of x and y with respect to r and theta and we will multiply them and get to our final answer so let's see so my first goal is to find jacobian of u v with respect to x and y so how you find this this is simply the determinant u with respect to x so del u by del x u with respect to y so del u by del y v with respect to x so del v by del x and v with respect to y so del v by del y this is nothing but del u by del x so if you differentiate partially u with respect to x you are going to get 2x why because y will be treated as constant and derivative of x with respect to x is 2x similarly if you want to find del u by del y this time x will be constant and derivative of minus y square is minus 2y further if you want to calculate del u sorry del v by del x x will be treated as constant derivative of 2y is 2 so 2 times x is what you are getting and similarly del v by del y again x will be treated as constant in this case while calculating del v by del x sorry i uh, told you wrong while calculating del v by del x 2 and y because we are doing partial derivative with respect to x so 2 and y are constant derivative of x with respect to x is 1 so this will be 2 times y now del v by del y is 2 and x will be treated as constant derivative of y with respect to y is 1 so 2x is what we Now put those put those values here. So two uh, x and minus two y. And uh, there we are getting two y and two x. Fine. So. this is plus this is 
sorry this is directly we can calculate this minus this so this will be equal to uh this is nothing so 2x multiplied by 2x minus 2y 2y and 2x okay 2x multiplied by 2x is 4x square minus 2y multiplied by minus 2y minus 2y four, minus 4y square and 1 minus is already there so plus 4y square this we did now similarly we will calculate as per the question Jacobian of x y with respect to r and theta so that will be x with respect to r partial derivative of x with respect to theta partial derivative of y with respect to r and partial derivative of y with respect to theta so this is let's calculate them so x with respect to r so theta cos theta will be treated as constant theta is a constant so cos theta is a constant so that will remain as it is derivative of r with respect to r is 1 so you will get cos theta then x with respect to theta so because we are doing with respect to theta r will be treated as constant isn't it and derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta so minus r sin theta next we have y with respect to r and y with respect to theta so del y by del r so y with respect to r so sin theta will be treated as constant derivative of r with respect to r is 1 and del y by del theta finally y with respect to theta so r will be treated as constant derivative of sin theta is cos theta so let's plug in these values so x with respect to r x with respect to theta so this is cos theta this is minus r sin theta and these values are sin theta and r cos theta sin theta and r cos theta again multiply so cos into cos so r cos square theta this is sin square theta into r with a negative sign but one negative sign because of determinant will also come so plus r sin square theta now we can further simplify it r we can take common cos square theta plus sin square theta which we all know is 1 so we are getting it as r fine ok so here you can write this once more if you want del u by del v and r theta ok so as I told u and v are functions of x and y and x and y are functions of r and theta so now because we have calculated them okay can we simplify this further the first one 4 times x square plus y square so if I calculate x square so I will get r square cos square theta if I calculate y square so this is 4 if I take common x square is r square cos square theta this is r squared sin squared theta again r square will come common cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 so 4 r square this is 4 r square that is r so the first one was this was uv with respect to xy so that came out to be 4 r square and uh, xy with respect to r theta came out to be r so 4 r into 4 r square into r 4 r cube is your 
and say. Fine. So we wish to find Jacobian of u v with respect to r in theta. That was not directly possible. So we first found u v with respect to x and y because they were directly the functions, and then x and y were functions of r and theta. So Jacobian of x and y with respect to r and theta. Calculate it separately and plug in the values for r cube is your final. So I hope you learned something from this video. For more such problems on differential calculus, you can always visit the playlist of differential calculus. Thanks again. If you have any queries, you can always comment. Thanks for watching.